Hey space fans, Tarek Malik with space.com. I'm here at NASA's Wallops flight facility where we're waiting for Rocket Lab's first US launch of an electron rocket. It's a gorgeous night. I'm not sure if you can see, but we're minutes away from launch. But oh, whoa, whoa. There's the moon and Jupiter and uh, Venus. It's a little too early for Saturn, but we're just a few minutes away from the launch. And I'm here with Alex, uh, Mankovic? Is that Mankovic? Mankovic, that's right. <laughs> Welcome to the inaugural electron launch from U.S. soil. That's right, that's right. So we're, we're just minutes away from this launch here. I'm going to stay out of his way because he's taken some awesome photos. And uh, hopefully we're going to get a good show. It's been a very smooth countdown all night long. Uh, gorgeous sunset launch. That's the rocket right over there. It's a little blurry in my, my video feed, but hopefully... We're gonna get a good shot. Oh, you can you can hear the rest of the media folks. Let's see if I can get a shot. That's the the reporters over here on top of the hill. Right here. Launch until today. So here we are tonight, about two miles behind me, and I'll let you get a clear. There's the rest of the folks. There's an observatory dome there. The moon. All right, so it's been a very smooth, there was one issue, oh, there it goes. Spectacular lift off right there. It's so bright <laughs> and it was so loud. Oh, there's a plume. Wow. Look at that plume right there. Now this is Rocket Lab's Virginia is for launch lovers, a spectacular liftoff you saw here from Rocket Lab's brand new U.S. launch site, their first ever launch from U.S. soil. Looks to be going real, real smooth. Looks like there was a, a satellite way up above that just, that just passed overhead. You can see that moving dot. And you can still see it. Wow. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson. Stand on your side. It's carrying three Hawkeye 360 radio reconnaissance satellites for Hawkeye 360. They're a Virginia based company here in, uh, uh, in, in Virginia, although Rocket Lab is based up. Looks like we had an engine cutoff right there. And there's second engine, or uh, second stage uh, ignition. So you just saw that wink out right there. That was stage separation. And you can still see it. Wow, it is still all going all the way up there. That is amazing. Launching right over Orion's shoulder. As it lifted off there, you can still see in my... <laughs> in my, my camera phone, you can see the stars of Orion. That's the belt right there in the middle. That is stunning. Still, still visible. As it's making its way to orbit. We'll see if we can see second engine cutoff uh, in a minute. How'd it look to you, Alex? 
Well, I was a little late. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. But anyway, no, I was, I was waiting for a thirty-second uh, announcement. Yeah. So, but I know I got some shots. Yeah. And I'm within good exposure range. So. That's great. Wow, you can really see the plume now. Look at that exhaust plume, wow. Now it's crossing the shoulder of Orion. That's Beetlejuice right there. There it goes. Wow, that was stunning. And you can still see it. <laughs> you can see it, it's right here. Oh, that's the uh, the second stage still on its way up. Doing its thing. We'll see if we can keep seeing it. Now you can really see Orion. Those three stars of its belt. Beetlejuice to the... Uh, Central left there. Forgive me for the grainy quality of my camera phone. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson here at the Mid Atlantic Regional Plate. Three, two, one. I'm here at Wallace Island Plate Facility. We had a successful. I can't believe we can still see it, Alex. <laughs> getting a little hard to track now so I think I'm gonna sign off for now and we're gonna see how it looks uh, on the real feed the video feed